Welcome everybody to Deb's Thing. This is Debbie and here is my starry starry night design. Um, as you saw in my preview of it, um, of the prototype, which is this one right here, um, I change it up a little bit. I mean, wait till I'm going to show you a real quick storyline of how this design came to be. But if you see these little stars in the middle, this is what my big change was. It was so much nicer, these gold stars with the white ones here to kind of look like a blob. So I think I found perfection in how I want you. Ugh, you don't even know. I'm gonna, well, I'll show you so you get an idea. This was actually, I did the tutorial, already did a tutorial and I made this on that tutorial. I had so many hesitations and like, oh, I did this wrong. Change it back to this. Oh no, it was right. Take this off, put it back the way it was. And oh, I did this backwards so you could do it this way. Or here's yet another way to do it. So <laughs> I, I got myself so confused. So I'm starting over. So here's that, which I think kind of has a, you know, the colors kind of go with it. I don't, the, the burgundy in here is more of a burgundy brown. I don't know how accurate my, my printer is because one of the ink tanks is low. But, you know, it's interesting, burgundy. This is the opaque burgundy. And this is the sweet burgundy. Are you kidding me? This is maroon. Now, don't be changing this color. Add a different color if you want to make a more burgundy color. Um, but I love this is this might be my very favorite of all the um, Rainbow Loom bands, the burgundy sweets, sweets burgundy. So I'm going to use those on the border. Anyhow, um, you saw this one I made. And this one where I used um, the LE bands, which are really, really beautiful on this design. They really, really lay out nice on top of the background. And this one I used the 300 count bands for the border, where this one I you know, used 600 count, and the same here. But um, there's kind of a double layer for the Order, so you can use the 600 count and it, it, it still gives a, a decent you know thick um, border and I don't recommend I had left this overnight and finished it um, like earlier t no yeah I whatever night I did it I left it overnight and finished it and this is still a little like some of the blacks are still a little bit loose from being on the loom for you know stretched out for over 24 hours and this was the end that I had finished so these were already loomed so it was you know extra stretch these were still just laid out so they're still you know tight but yeah definitely you don't want to leave your loom or looped designs on your um, loom for 24 hours not a good thing so anyhow before I get going, let's give you a little quick history of this, the evolution of this design. This was my first attempt, and uh, I was just messing around with things, and then I tried this, and this is where I got the Vincent Van Gogh Starry Starry Night idea because on this, um, I started alternating. See how these go this way. These are looped that way. These loop this way. These loop that way. I alternate back and forth, kind of giving a feel of the different direction of swirls in this design, the paint strokes. Um, and so, okay. Then I'm trying different things, but they were so domed, it was a little ridiculous. So I get all those. Then I finally made a bracelet, which I'm taking apart to save the um, burgundy sweets. But see, it's just, I don't know, it was just a little too much. Um, the one I did, this one has a slighter dome, but because I was, those are nine bar bands, this is 11. Um, I came up with this design 
after my extra pins came, or bars came into in the mail, when I made a order rainbowloom.com. This full, the very nice full wrap. Isn't that look cool? I love it. I, my husband was actually interested in it. He goes, how does that thing look on when he saw the three balls like this? And, you know, he doesn't usually comment too much on my work, but he, when he saw it on my wrist, he goes, that looks really nice. I mean, he goes, that looks like, like, like jewelry or something like you pay money for. And he just thought it had a very, very impressive look on the wrist. So, just so you know. I bet you who bling it. I, I told him how some of you bling it. I don't think he got what bling was, but um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think if any of you guys figure out how to bling it, um, here's just a bunch more of my attempts. And then I got to these. And I got my extra bars so I could do an 11 bar wide design. And so I can like tweak, tweak it here and there to try to get it to look as nice as possible. And I should give you a heads up. This design requires the double length loom. So it's 11 across, all parallel, and it's um, you know, 26 pins in length. If you only have, you know, one you can only do one looms like then then you can make one of these I mean it's big enough to literally go across your wrist and then just find some design somehow you can attach to it you know some pretty little extension maybe something um hook only where you can you know just somehow attach it here and and do it that way because look at that I mean I have a smaller wrist but these are these are big circles <laughs> okay so let's get to work Anything else I have to tell you ahead of time? Hmm. Oh, I just want to show you this. Um, I've been so tired, and I, I can't do these bigger designs on the little 3x5 cards, making little sketches. So I got onto my um, spreadsheet and made these, and so I save it default, with, like, all across. But all you have to do is, like, highlight these, copy, and then repaste them so that you can, say, make alternating ones and so I can cut it back to three, four, five, six, seven, eight pin, you know, as many pins as I want. Then I do it front and back so you know you turn it upside down and you've got the upside down U's which then look like these smiley faces are U's upside down. So I don't know anybody else is, if you've done this but boy I'm loving this because I can, well I shouldn't say I can clearly see this because I messed up reading my instructions on um, my last attempt at this. So yeah, it took well over two hours, close to three hours to, you know, on camera, off camera to get all this done. So here we go again. And let's get going since I've already spent eight minutes and I haven't even gotten anywhere. Oh, I'll have to warn you guys to fast forward. Holy cow. Okay. You're a colored bands or A placement bands are going to be the Sweets Burgundy 300 count. The B position bands are actually they're just like um to, like the girdle to hold it all in, hold it all together, are clear bands and the whole point of those are so they're not seen and detract from the design. I'm going to use another one, this one, because I don't like the stars in that one. Okay, so you got A and then the clear are B. C are the I use the, like a light the light blue paradise mix. They go here and then here and those those kind of go around that way. I'm gonna be using the dark paradise blue and then this one that goes in the middle like this. I'm using a medium paradise blue. Then E are the center, the little um, star. I'm using the um, pearl white, and then they need caps. And I don't recommend using a fat, thick one because it seems to distort, which 
it partially that was one of the problems with this one besides me having finished it off a little differently on each other end but uh, you can try it I I use the actual the, the silicone the circular yin and yang whites in the center but anyhow I'm just using like straight white so I've got three of those for each cap and in the background which is also kind of like the frame like, you know, the frame for a building. Are, I used um, the Arctic Blue Dual. I'm using the Burgundy. I was really torn with wanting to use, I wanted to really use um, the Mango. But they're thicker, and I really recommend using thinner because I did try this design. I think I took it apart or somewhere. But I, I used thick, the uh, jelly bands for the back, and it kind of pushes these out of place a little bit. I think it would only work if you used um, the the larger bands. That might be okay. But anyhow, I decided to use the burgundy for the background against the two blues. And where I used black here, it's hard to see. I used black here. I used um, the Persian white 600 count here. You can it makes a, a pretty little scallop along the border here and you can just see it gently twisting in here and then the ends of the ca uh, bands kind of pop up here. So I'm going to use the mango for that. So now that we're 11 minutes and 43 seconds into this design, let's get going. Okay, and this one can't even keep it the whole section on screen without pulling back too far and I want to keep it as close so bear with me. Uh, I place my one band here for later on. Now for the closer band. Hold on. Somebody's calling me. Alrighty. Oh. Hubby is at Walmart and needed a list of of things to pick up and so I had to cut you off short there and I've got the phone in me on me so you might get distracted you might get I might get interrupted again I don't know but hopefully he's got all he needs okay the first one goes like this I'm just gonna do like one side and then the other so you do one angled one straight across Then two angles. I like to place my bands as best as I can so they're not all twisted. And then you go to two up. Then you're going to follow this design, you know, this pattern in its mirror image. So it's two angles in, one angled across. One angled up and in, and one across. Now we're going to do the same thing. Oops, I'm sorry. Darn it, I could have to remember that. So I think if I pull out further, it's going to be too far away for you to see. Clearly. I'm going to try this so that I don't go off camera. I think it's better for you to see me from a distance and not see me at all. So I did two up one across, one up and angled in, and one across, mimicking this in mirror image. So now we are going to do this side. Do the exact same thing, mirror image on this. Now this is a mirror image, that's not the mirror, that's the up, is that mirror? When it goes that way? 
close it is. How can you have two opposing mirror images? I don't know. Oops. My bad. Okay, I'm going to try not to chit chat through this. Even though there's a lot of just putting bands on. There's a dead space as far as conversation or talking goes. But I've already spent, you know, almost a 10 minute chunk just getting, getting started. One in, one angled up and in, and then one across, and you're going to repeat this two more times, only you don't need to do these two because they're already placed. So you're going to do one up, one over. out two straight up two angles up and in one straight across not cooperating. One angled up and in, one straight across. And do that again on this side. I'm just going to do it now and not not give direction since I think you've got it by now. And if you don't, if this is confusing, please find somebody's easier design to do. Because this is not it this is not a very easy. It's not super complex. It's not like Nick's Hale Nick's Haley 22. I like I'm afraid to even try one of her designs. They are like so mind-blowing, complex and gorgeous. I I guess I I'm gonna have to one of these days. But I mean she's the one who gave me the courage to try anything wider than seven bars um, wide. So was it was it my amazing grace? Yeah, it was my amazing grace. Like, don't ask me about designs, people, if it's been done before, whatever. I can't even, I might accidentally copy one of my own designs someday and not even realize it. That's, that's how bad I am with the recollection of, of designs. I'm terrible. But anyhow, one of these days, I'm going to bite my next bullet of, of moving skills and try one of her gorgeous designs. She's not the only one that does wide designs, but we've just been having a lot of interaction and talking to each other lately, so she's been on my mind. That and other issues that I will not speak on camera here, but um, those of you who are in our, what, inner, I guess, inner circle or you know, our acquaintances on Instagram know what I'm referring to and so I know Car Carolyn is it Hamilton right I, don't know, I, I see it in I see it in my head but I can't see it clearly yeah it's Hamilton it's Hamilton she does them and others do it and I feel so bad because I don't check out your tutorials as much as I should I would probably have not spent 
so much time trying to figure out, I was literally going to call or write Rainbow Loom or Justin's Toys or somebody that might have had, have like the, the physics or whatever or around how bands interact when you make them go this way or that way to get some advice because I just couldn't get it out of that dome shape and I didn't want to give up the design that I had come up with going back and forth and you know trying to make it so oh, I was going nuts then I got I said when I got the extra bands I said, let me try this 11 bar pins wide okay and you will event we will eventually put the cap there you will not use this last is how it came out to keep it all even. So, next we're to grab our B color bands. And um, as we're placing the bands, oh my gosh, my, my battery is getting low. As we're placing the bands, we're going to do, you know, kind of do one one section, two section, three section, but when we loom them back we kind of have to do one section at a time. So right now we're going to place one clear pin, clear band here from, come on, from the home pin here, straight up. Then we're going to go here where these two um, border bands are. Place one down this way and that way. And then we're to start the second section. So you will actually be laying one on top of this but going this way. Then you do it again. Start the third section. And then the final one. So you just placed a total of six clear B, B color, B position band, or B color. Um, now we are going to take our color C, which is this color right here. I want these to the darker blue. Okay. And instead of starting down here, we are going to start on this pin where the clear band comes out to. So we're going to do this and follow the um, perimeter, you know, the border bands. Except that here you will, because you know you're getting smaller, you're only going to have one angled. You will still have two straight down. This doesn't make a perfect circle, but I gave up trying to get that perfect circle. I tried, I designed, put all these little thingies on so many different configurations that I was driving myself crazy. But that was all in theory, you know, then I'd have to try all those different configurations and see if they actually made round, completely round, but round enough. <laughs> Nothing's perfectly round anyways, right? Unless you have a, uh, um, what do you call those things? <laughs> the things that you make circles with. Ah, I want to say, pro oops, I'm sorry, I forgot to finish this side. Hmm. See what happens when I get talking? It's not the protractor, it's the other one. Uh, okay, I'm so sorry. I get distracted, got it. Okay. So I just followed one across, one angled out, one straight across, one angled out, two down, one angled in, one straight across, one angled in and down, and one across, and then did the exact same thing on the other side. So now we are going to do it again and again. Not again and again, like again and again and again, but just again and then again. <laughs> Two more times. You know what? I'm going to go off camera and save some. You see a three hour tutorial. You might never 
take a look. So it's going to be the exact, exact same as what we just did here, and I'll be back. Okay. I've got the blue, darker blue, on all three sections. I can't see it on my camera. There they are. Okay. So now to start the next phase. For now we'll take three, just three of the clear bands, place one here, and place one up in that position, coming off right here where the um, the dark blue bands intersected when they came down here. I guess we'll do one. And I came about this after much trial and error in order to make the invisible bands as hidden as possible and to allow the circles to look as, you know, uninterrupted as possible. So now we're going to take our D color, which are the um, just the lighter of the um, Paradise Blue Mix. Start where we just placed that clear band and we're going to follow the, uh, the position of the other bands. Only this time we're placing them as we traditionally place it's a fat one. Let's get that one. You know, I love these sweets, thinner sweets bands. They go, they slide on so nice. They are so easy to loom back. Now, this is going to seem weird because there's nothing here, but we will be placing a clear band over here, over that. It's, it's just how it works. That's what, I guess, maybe this design isn't as complicated to do as it was to create. It was a doozy to make it look like this. So I hope, I really, really hope you all like it. <laughs> I hope I see lots and lots of additions <laughs> because this was, I don't know, maybe some of you would have said, what's so hard about that? Because your brain, you know, your brains can see those kind of things. The way I can see a picture and draw it or a face, you know, a face and know how to do a portrait without ever being taught. Um, and people can't figure out how to do that because I can just see it. It's just a gift from God. Some people can just play music or sing. Like, I don't even think all the training in the world could get my notes right. <laughs> I think I'm a hopeless case. So. I think I'm going to stay on camera because as the circles get smaller, it's less time to place them. I just hope I can get this done without having to change a battery because I have to take it off the tripod and blah blah blah. And it just got too late for me to finish that first, the first time I did this. And so they, that's why the bands had to stay on overnight and got all kind of weird stretched out. I just won't photograph that piece of it. <laughs> I'll only photograph the part. Only I'll crop that out. Okay, one more section. Whoops. What did I do? Oh, I forgot. Where did I put that other band? Oh. I'm such a dummy. I placed it up there. Sorry about that. My bad. So if any of you followed me and placed it up there, it goes down here. I'm like, where'd this band go? Okay. See? First mistake. That's what I get for talking. Hush, Debbie. I hope the sound of the fan, I tried to place the fan as far away, 
And I put it up a little higher because on low it kind of cranks a little. And I know some of you are bothered by the sound, but um, I have the door closed. It's actually a pretty cold night for the first time in a long time. Um, but I closed the door so like these children on the other side of the door, if they make loud noises in the kitchen, won't distract. And if the pup is let out, won't terrorize you with a bark. An unexpected wolf. He's got the stranger danger bark. Woo 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 woo! Like that. It scares the heck out of us because it's so sudden and so loud. And just come, you know, so spontaneous that he could totally frighten us. But we've, we've nicknamed it the Stranger Danger Bark because that's pretty much the only time he um, does that. Is if it's somebody he doesn't recognize, either smells, he smells them, you know, they came in in their, one of my kids' rooms, or they come up to the door or come into the house. Ooh. Okay, so now we're done with that. Oh, the next step is um, okay. And I'll be real careful and make sure I place all three the same. Now, where we just, you know, stop right here, we're gonna place one clear or B band here, here and correctly placed here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All those little pieces of, of you know, trial and errors, that's just some of them. I, I pulled some apart and reused the bands and there's others floating around the house. That's not even. I mean, I've probably got five or six more pieces of trial and errors and I had so many pieces of paper or directions like okay which are which are my latest ones which one do I want to use now <laughs> um okay B6 okay now we're gonna take more clear bands and we're gonna place two of them see from up here where the last clear band is you're gonna straddle across where these blue bands are already placed you're gonna do one Two. Go to the next section. One. Two. The third section. One. Two. And the reason I'm doing this is because from the center everything is going to be loomed out. So I have to place them this way. And they have to go under and over different ones because of the direction I'm looming them or else they won't have any Thing to hold them together. So that's why, you know, they're still placed this one first, this one second, this one third, and then this one will be fourth. So when you loop them back, you know, them back that, you know, they will hook onto each other. I wish my brain could just see it. I just scribble down a you know, design and say, okay, let's make this. No, 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 no. Have you, how many bags of bands are there? Did I just use to come up with this design? Too many. All right. Um, I wish they had one dollar like practice colors, like just like five or six basic colors, you know, and sold them for a dollar for six hundred, so that you didn't feel so you know guilty using them for practice. That would be really cool. Okay, see seven. Okay, now we're going to take our E bands for the center stars. Uh oh, wait a minute. I'm missing something here. There needs oh no, no I'm not. Never mind, never mind. I'm doing fine. I'm on track. I'm actually following the direction. My I don't remember which one to do. Okay. So you're gonna place this one here. This one here. And place two more like this. 
they look like they're going on top of each other, but this is where the cap, so one's going to go this way and one's going to go that way. So it might look a little confusing right now, but um, it shouldn't be too bad. I think I could probably zoom in a little bit since I won't have to deal with the border for a while. So actually, a place like one from here to here, and this one actually is coming from here to here, if you want to get technical about it. Okay. Hold on. I had to fix this some... Okay. I see it. Now we're going to take clear bands to finish up the other side, we're going to go across, we're going to go one, two, three, four, and then on this side, one, two, three, four. I mean, why, why isn't she going up and under like she did straight up? That's just how it works. I finally realized that doing it this way worked the best for the design and it's easiest. <laughs> You haven't seen nothing yet. Wait till I show you how to place the um, F bands, which I'm changing my mind. I think I'm, I'm going to go with the mangoes, and I just I'm just having doubts on the using the burgundy as the background of the blue. I think it's going to look too dingy. It's starry, starry night. I mean, his, you know, it's so light and colorful. I want my bracelet to look like that too. He only uses a tiny bit of the um, burgundy color in his design, so I can't have that the whole backdrop. I was getting depressed thinking about it. And you all know that was Vincent Van Gogh's downfall and severe depression. I can understand that. I've suffered it myself years ago. But it's always something you always have to watch out for when, if you're predisposed to it. So all of you who suffer from it, be strong, get help. You know, be concerned. You know, be smart about your health. Because there's always somebody out there that needs you. Okay? Then we're going to take the last of our E bands. And we're going to place one here. An e. That is not an E. That is not the right one. That is a one that jumped from another compartment. It's one of the metallic bands. They live next door to each other in, in, in the... Um, in my white box. Okay. Here. This is these are the metallics and these are metallics. Hey, how many of you guys came over your neighbors? Don't belong there. These get static electricity. It's so dry out here. Well, actually it's been very humid late this summer. But sometimes it's so the static electricity is so bad when I open those boxes, they kind of all go popping in different directions. Okay, now we are going to take whatever you choose for your center. You can use, you know, use a contrasting if you want, or use like it's gonna, it goes like dark blue, the lighter blue, dark, darker blue. You could put like the lighter blue, whatever this color is, in the center here. Maybe I should, I'm going to do that. Yeah. Change the plans. I'm going to put this as the cap. 
just cap these and push these down because there are going to be temporarily a lot of bands on that this center pin but they all will be looped out okay so just capped the little cross mini cross here or star I've got such painful hips. Ah, oh, darn it! I gooped up. Okay, it's a small, small goof up, but we are going to have to do this. Um, make it real simple and easy. I was supposed to place this, um, the dark blue with the C color bands. So we need um to take these off, okay? I think let me make sure. So we're gonna start here at one, you know, one higher up than where your pin, um, your cap is. The one across, one angled, another one angled, and then one across. Okay, now, just remember to put this one first, and this one second. Sorry about that. It's only a tiny, tiny one, so now we're going to take bands off of this pin and go this way. Oh, so hoping to do this perfectly, but the angle I was looking at, I had changed um, this thing. I had to like change the order and so what used to be a nine is actually now an eight, but at the angle I saw the the nine and not the eight. Does that make sense? And I had erased the nine. So this one goes first, because we started here, we did one, two, three, four, we're going that way. Okay, now we have to do it to the next section. Let's take these two off temporarily. Right here, one up from cap. So one across, one angled, one across, uh, one angled in, one straight across. Pop this one first and then place this one back on top. Then take these two and they're they're easy. They're all, they're the only two that have clears on an empty pin and there's no like there's no nothing other than the clear bands on it. So it's really easy to see and it's real simple to do. So very, very minor backing up here. Thank goodness I didn't find this mistake later on. But then my instructions would have started making less and less sense. Okay, and then one more section. My own screen here. Make sure that this comes up on top and you don't go through one of these blue bands. Okay, that'll mess up the design a little. Uh oh, red lights flashing on my camera battery. So I'm going to pop these back on and go. So change my battery. Thank goodness for two batteries. Must have at least two batteries per camera. 
Only two for this one because they're like 40 bucks a piece. <laughs> All right. All righty. This next um, part. Let's see if I can get in a little closer. This next part. It's a, not tricky, but it's a, a tiny bit confusing. And this is where I switch in the F bands instead of using. See how just. I mean, just look, the real estate, you know, you just, you, this is the thickness I want, this is the color I want. So I'm just going to go for it and hope that it doesn't distort the design too much because I just can't do the brown background. <laughs> so, um, all these except for the very final one I place in each section will not, not be touching any of the pins that have the border band. Only the very last one I place on each section will touch. Okay? So they're pretty much, they're all going to be starting out on this parameter. Okay? So we we're going to start out by making an upside down V. And I'm just going to show this one in, you know, section and go off camera because you'll be doing the exact same thing on each section. Then you are going to go one, follow this angle band. What, you, what, what I tried to do with this is wherever there were um, openings here, um, I use these to fill in the gaps. And so now you will do the exact same as much as I could. There are a couple places where I do go parallel over um, a couple of the bands that are already placed but I, I couldn't find any other way to make that work. So now we're going to go angle. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. So this is three and three. And go across. Then you're going to the center and there's going to be a lot of ends here so just keep pressing down. So we're going to do the same on this side. Set the mirror image. And then I had to do something a little hinky here, but I couldn't figure out what else to do. So I did this. Okay. So this is what? Two in and four up. Okay. And then angle it up into here. Then go two pins up from here, place another um, band horizontal, and then come back here. So you kind of have like a little house, <laughs> you know, like this is the floor, these are the walls, right here, and this is the roof line, <laughs> and then do it on this side. And now, this has to connect to the, this center column. So this is where I place two bands like this, and then two like this. But it does not, it wound up not just detracting from the design at all, as you can see. I really love using the, I use the du double on the 600 count purple, uh, Persian purple here, and I really, really like how the double bands look together. I think that gives it um, a little extra pizzazz, but I just decided to do the one. Okay, now we are pretty much going to do the same mirror this. These. So we'll do this. This one's got a little bit of a twist in it. Okay, so do that, then go across, and then, yeah, going back to the center. So just push them down and push them down. It's only temporary. So sorry about that. 
I mean, it's a new phone. Well, it's not like a new. It's a refurbished um, Samsung Galaxy S5, which I love so much more than the S2, which is my was my first um, smartphone, which I got like last year. But somehow the driving mode went on, and I, I don't know. I can't find the program to turn it off, so I'm going to have to go online and look at that. So, incoming call from Belgo. Incoming call. <laughs> All right. So now, you're going to do like this one right here. And no more on the center pin. Well, not right this minute. Okay. And then the last two, as far as this kind of placement goes. Now, instead of an upside down V, is a true V. Okay. The final F bands you will place on this section start at the second pin, not the first. Not this one. Start here, like I said, where the um, my dark blue, the C color bands that we place this way, as you can see, they're all starting from a pin that has that color band on it. Okay, so we're gonna start here, and we're gonna go straight up. So this is gonna be kind of like it's kind of like a um, when we loop it back, it's gonna kind of be a cap to to loop all the other ones out from. And that's kind of the um, support system for my little starry, starry night design for all these things, you know, so they're not just like looping into space. <laughs> they, they, they are looping onto this structure. Okay, and this is the only place where you will connect it to a, a pin that has the border bands on it. Okay, so now you're going to start up here where these um, C color bands are and do exactly as I did here. Okay, so just rewind because you probably didn't get that all memorized unless you're really, really, really sharp and paid attention and understood. Like, what my mind was doing. Um, yeah, go ahead and just rewind instead of watching it over and over again. I'll be back when I'm done. Alrighty. This is how it looks. So with each section there is a break right here where there you know isn't continuous um, F bands, in my case mango bands, and it ends where the final cap will be. And since I switched those were the G, now they're F. I'm using decided I'm gonna try using these different burgundy bands. And all you're gonna do is follow the perimeter or the border. Very, very simple. Do exactly as the border does. Oh, I turned on the fan because it would be cool. it's cooler and I have the door open, but I'm not feeling cold yet. <laughs> It was so cool when I first came in here. Now it's not. Okay, so then you're going to go on top of this band here. Like I said, exactly, exactly as the border goes. You're going to do this all the way up. So I'll probably just stay on camera since a fairly quick process.
Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. I just don't like my bands twisted when I first place them. Okay. And now we start the next section just like this. Okay? I'm going to go off camera and finish it and get something to drink and be back. Sorry folks for the background noise, but oh, starting to sweat like a pig, which I do not understand because if I remember my biology class many, many decades ago, the reason pigs roll in mud is to cool them off because they do not sweat. So I wonder where that phrase, are those kind of phrases that they call idioms? My English class is also way back in the that many decades ago, and um, I was really good in, in English, but you know, some of the words, I'm going to use this band, even though it's a fat one for the cap, just to use it, because I don't want to waste it, because I need to order more of these beautiful bands. Okay, so now we're going to turn it around, and we are going to start the process, and I probably, I'm I'm going to try to get away with just showing you the one because it's going to repeat after that except for the very first two bands that I loom out. So I think I can take a drink of my beverage. Wet my whistle, which I do get because it's hard to whistle when your lips are dry. <laughs> okay. This is the only time we're going to do this step. Is taking these two um, the G bands, which were the top order bands, and loop them out. It's the only time you will do this to get the ball rolling. Okay. The next step. Oops. I turned over to the mini back side. Is reaching through the cap and grabbing this band and you're going to go straight up to the last one and whoops I accidentally grabbed the clear underneath. Don't want to do that. And the last one in this section is here. Now you're going to come back here and loom out from the center cap row. I call this a cap row because it's acting as a cap. And so on this one, you're going to, oh, never mind, I'm one, one ahead of myself, I'm not getting ahead of myself. You can push these down a little bit as you go, so you have room for the other one, other bands that we will have to be looming. Now for this one, we're going to ruin this band, and this band, and since this one here is on top, we're going to do these two over here first. But make sure you come back and do these before you go back to the center. Okay. Oh, what was I talking about? I just realized I can't, you can't go and do this on each section because you have to finish the whole section, so 
forget what I said about it. I'm just going to show you this and then you can go do the rest because that doesn't work. I try so hard to get going earlier in the day. It just never seems to happen. So by the time I'm doing this, it's late at night. And I would use that ex as an excuse. Like, as I do sometimes, I'm tired. But my brain is hardly ever firing correctly, so what can I say? Me make many mistakes. So this, all you're doing is after you looped up all these bands at the center right here, from this pin to this pin, you're just coming back to the center and looming these all out. I sure wish I could figure out how the band, like when I did the, um, I do dual layer bands. They just they roll and twist and get all messed up and I don't know how to stop it from happening. See, I don't know if you, could, you probably didn't see that, but that band kind of started getting all twisted and rolled. And you just do that. But if I release it and then try to go back more gently happen. But it's one thing when they're really loose like this, but when you're trying to do that from a pin that has lots of bands that you got to pull it through, it's, I don't understand how to untwist bands that start rolling up on you. And I have not figured it out. Okay, so we've got that done. And the ones you really need to worry about pulling down are these and ones that are going to have other bands going on. Okay, so we did that. Do, do, um, okay. Now we're going to go back to these top border bands, and this is how, as you can see, there's really, other than these two bands here, on either end, either side, there's nothing connecting the inner design with the border. So this is how that's going to be resolved. I'm going to reach in and grab the bottom of this band. Instead of going to the home pin, going straight up. Taking this one straight up. This one straight up. See when you pull this when you pull this out, this one that's how it ravels. I really would like to learn how to not do that. So now this one is going here. This one is going here. Oh yeah, I remember what I told you. I told you I was going to do this whole section and then from there um, the other two sections will be the same. So you can just rewind and use this, you know, follow what I'm doing here. That's what I had said before. Don't mind me, I'm just confused. <laughs> this one goes up here. Now this one here, you know, it's going to look weird, but, you know, it all goes down into circles afterwards. This one is coming from this pin, and it's going one, two, going this pin. Right here. So you skip this one and go over to this one. So it looks like this. So you just kind of it let, let it lie alongside, lay along the side this one. Okay. And from here over to here. And this end is also going to go to the same pin because nope, oh, I ran out of pins and I had to put it somewhere. <laughs> and then this one is going to this pin and that's all we're going to do on that side. And then we're going to just do the same on this side. Okay. 
you would do exactly what we did on the other side. Just this mirror image, that's all. Bring this one oh, past these two pins, or past this pin and onto this one. And um, wherever you place them, it's going to be where this border um, C colored band is. Okay. So this one's going to go on the same pin. And this one's going to go straight across to this pin. So we're done with that for now. Now we're gonna. Oh, I hope you realize when I, I forgot to mention this when you loomed up, not to um, go through the cap. Okay, the cap is only for these four pins. Uh, hopefully, that you guys all realize that I didn't go through this cap here. So now you will. You would reach and grab the one on top, which is one that's going to my left. And reach down and grab the other one. Now, I did this little thing which helps hide the um, pattern. If you don't have a, another hook where mine is in the living room, just use a pencil or something. Just make sure it doesn't un untwist from the way it is. You're going to lift this off temporarily, this loop right here. Okay. Loom these last two clear bands. I just found that doing this hides it a little better. And then just use your fingers if you need to. If you don't, especially if you don't have a hook. And just place it back on top. Okay. So this looks like how it looks before. You know, after it's done, this is how it looks before it's done. Okay, now I'll get to show you it again. So now we're going to go on this side and do the exact same thing. First loom out that E band, then the clear D bands. Okay, now before you loop this one over, and you're going to want to temporarily take this um, top border band off this pin. Just let it sit like that. Don't lose it. And you've got to figure out how to retwist it. And I don't know how that goes, so don't make a mistake. <laughs> okay. Did those last two clear bands and just place that back on top and that's all there is to that. Not too complicated, just a little different. Okay. So we've got that done. Now I have to find the next step is these um, C bands that are placed directly around the um, cross or star. You can reach, you can start with the top and you're going to go downwards. It's a little, little bit awkward getting them out, but not too bad. So just make sure you pull everything aside, find that band, and bring it down, not up. It's a little harder here because you have the double um, clear bands, but as long as you pull them all, just like you do with any other looming, reach that when you have to reach down to the bottom. Bring it to the center, so you've done that side. Then you're going to come back, grab this back hand right here, it's right on top. Make sure you go through all the bands if you need to. Point everything that's on 
top of that bottom band out of the way. Pulling it up and down. Okay. So we've got that done. Now we go back to the cap, and this one's on top. So we're going to do this one E band. And we're going to do two of the clears. Okay, so that's a little bit to reach in and get that, but you can do it. Just pull everything away so that when you pull the clear band up, it'll grab everything above it. This one's not so much, but you still have to do the same thing. Then you're going to grab this last E-band, bring it up, and right now you're just going to do this one clear. Okay, you're not going to do two, you're just going to do one. So you did two down here after you brought out the E band for the cross or uh, star, and then you did the um, star band and then one clear. Now we're going to go back down here, right up here rather, where the D color band, the only one of that color, this one right here. Okay. And we're going to just start down here and do your standard type of looming. Just reach down and grab it. Grab it and just go up until you get to the center column. And then do the other side. back down here Then the last one, the center. Okay. Now you're going to bring this one clear band. Now that we've got these done, we're going to reach all the way down to the bottom. And this one secures this um, row we, you know, this circle we just did. Now we're going to take this outer C-bands and we're going to reach through and grab this top one. Bring it out and then just go down you know, and around so you get back to the center pin. I really, really, really hope you all listened to um, Starry Starry Night by Don McLean. Its official title is Vincent, but, you know, in parentheses, Starry Starry Night, and I think it's better known as Starry Starry Night than Vincent. And Vincent isn't very appealing for a design, a starry, starry night had so much more pizzazz. So that's why I chose that. 
But I think if you did your, your own search, I mean, you know, check out my um, playlist, my music, because that particular video, somebody did it so well. They have the words, so you can read the word, read along with the words, you know, are displayed, and he, images of Van Gogh's work is, um, you know, shown changes and you know shows several of his paintings throughout the song. So I really, really love that that video. It's a killer, that song though. It will make you cry. And boy, it brought me back to being twelve years old. <laughs> In seventh grade. My best year of school. I loved it, loved it, loved it. Had so much fun. So all the songs from that time are just, of course, is real famous. I buy Miss American Pie. It's actually called American Pie. Threw my Chevy to the Libby, but the Libby was dry. That's probably all I can do because I don't want to get in trouble for singing a song that wasn't that was definitely not singing. I just quoted. Um, a line from the song and did not give you even close to the tune. <laughs> that was real popular. That's a fun and upbeat song where Starry Starry Night was heavily emotional. Very, very beautiful. Okay. Um, now we're going to go down and we're going to take this last, we have to reach all the way down, grab that clear band and bring it over the calf, which is fine because we still have to um, loom out the border band. That'll hold it. But this holds, you know, this now holds this in place. Okay. Okay. Now, I had a problem when I did this the first time. There was a big gap here. In the design, so I realized that by taking this, this, this one right here, this top border band, taking the bottom part of it and bringing it to the center pin like this, and then doing the same with the other side, filled that void. And then the very last step in the section is taking the clear band, which will hold all this together, straight up. Okay. Now, as I said, remember I said that right here, these G want or G bands, the first step, it's the only time you're going to do that. Now you're going to start Repeating the whole process, so just rewind till you get to where I start doing this. Bringing these straight up. Okay. So you do those straight up, then bring the rest of the um, F bands, my mangle bands, out from the center and just continue on. Your last two steps will be these that I just showed you right here. Then you'll do the third section, and they'll be, you know, bringing these, this band to here, this band to here, and then looming the clear band up to here will be that, and then I'll come back and do the uh, outer border, but all you're going to do is go under, you know, through the cap, grab the border bands, and just go all the way up till you get to the cap, so you can go ahead and do that too if you want, but I will come back on camera and show you that last step just to make sure you know okay so again the second section starts by the these f which i designate as f and you're just going to go up and loom all the ones that are on the center column oops make sure they'll stay on the pins This last one, remember, it just ends right there. 
and then come back down here and start looming them out. And like I said, just rewind it and repeat the process, okay? And I'll be all right. I'm popping back on here real quick to start you on the final part of this design. Oh, this is what it looks like. Hopefully you didn't have any trouble because it was just repeating um, all the steps starting with, you know, looming this, these middle yellow, mine are the mango bands up the center and outward. So I'll just start on this and then I'm going to go off camera and do this so I can try to keep them from twisting. So yeah, you're just going to, you know, on both sides. Just follow it all the way to the final pin. Okay? So just go. Oh, I, you know what? I'll show you one section so you know what to do when you get, get right to this point. So, whoops, you can't see me, but I'm just. Going up the loom. I mean, it should be self-explanatory when you get to, to this section, but just in case, let me take a second to show you. in the room. There's a puppy in your room. Okay, so we're just going to do the, up to here. And then we're going to go to the other side. I'm a little off camera, but I'm just going one band after the other, so nothing exciting off camera. <laughs> much nicer to do this where it's on my lap and I have better control over how the bands are being pulled up because they just like to twist don't they okay so all you do here is go in the middle middle have the band on the top which is here This one goes on this side, and then you start it again. Okay? Just like that. And I'll be back. I'm going to take the time to pull most of this off after I've got it all. You know, the borders loom, so that doesn't take as much time because that's really boring to watch. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, all I need now is to place. Oh, here's one. Whew. I didn't think there. No, that's not a large clip. Ah! Hold on, people. I can't find a large clip. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'll have to make this little one work. I'll change it later. Um, and on the, this design, this top is actually the, the front side as opposed to this. I mean, it looks okay, but um, I made the other side so that the clear bands showed up a little less. So this is what I'm considering the top side. Okay, there it is. I'm going to go back to smaller designs, or actually I'm going to try to do um, tutorials on the, the designs that I've already had, I've already made. What you can do if you want to see the blue, that blue center 
or where you push it up, or if you want to see it less, just push it down. So there it is. Starry, starry night, which um, it definitely, um, this is going to take some, you know, <laughs> oh, hi, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> he talks. He's such a monkey. Okay, okay. So I have to get off because puppy over here. Cider. Where are you, Cider? There's your cute Cider. You go kill the rock. I know. Whoa, 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 whoa. I gotta finish up. So if you like this design, um, feel free to subscribe to me at Deb's Thing. And, oops. And check me out on Instagram at Deb's Thing. Thank you so much for checking out this tutorial. And as always, I look so forward to seeing your renditions and your other color combinations. Um, this definitely looks better after you straighten out because um, it just, some of the things get a little twisted. Okay, bye. Daddy <laughs> says bye. You want to say bye? Say bye. Where are you, Cider? Woohoo. Where are you, Cider? Cider. Cider pump. Say bye. Woo, 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 woo. Ruff, 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 ruff.